peace and blessings. This is Father Angelo Paolo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for PCNE 6. Taking seriously Pope Francis' challenge in his latest post-synodal exhortation, Christus Vivit, that is to listen, to dialogue, and to journey with the youth who are not only the future, but the present of the world, around 5,000 participants from the country and from other parts of the world gathered for the sixth Philippine Conference on the New Evangelization here at the Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas, Quadricentennial Pavilion, España, Manila. The theme of this year's conference is Filipino Youth Walking with Jesus, which takes inspiration from the Synod of Bishops on Young People, the Faith and Vocational Discernment in 2018 in Rome, and the current Year of the Youth, declared by the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. The first day of the PCNE Six for All Conference began with a call to worship and procession of Our Lady of Piet as a preparation for the Misa ng Bayang Pilipino presided over by Bishop Rex Andrew Alarcon, Bishop of Daet and incoming Chairman of the Episcopal Commission on Youth. In his homily, Bishop Alarcon shared about the abiding presence of God in his vocation. Inspired by John Paul II, Bishop Alarcon described God's love as costly and demanding, but faithful, freeing, and always new. Quoting Lark community founder Jean Vanier, that to love is not only to say, I love you, but also to walk or to accompany the beloved, he challenged the participants to journey with others, especially the youth, in their quest for truth, for acceptance, for family, and for true home. To love is not only to say, I love you, but to say, I want to accompany you. I want to walk with you. Ang lumakad kasama ang kabataan ay samahan sila sa paghahanap ng katotohanan. At kung hindi pa natin kayang sagutin ang maraming tanong, ay marahil sapat na na maramdaman nila o maramdaman natin na mayroon tayong kasama sa paghahanap ng katotohanan. PCNE Director Father Jason Laguerta officially welcomed the participants and pointed out the Philippines is a relatively young country. He invited the assembly not just to enter the mindset of the youth to better understand them, but also to rekindle the childlike quality in our life of faith. The morning experience was indeed a lit experience for the participants as Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle led the heart-to-heart -heart conversation or what he called hangout in view of knowing more the joys and hopes, the fears, the anxieties of the youth today. Sharers included lawyer and member of parliament of the Bangsamora Transition Authority, Ana Tarhat Basman, UAAP Season 81 Most Valuable Player and Captain of USD Golden Tigresses Volleyball Team, Sissy Rondina, Star Magic Pinoy Big Brother, and I Want ASAP's resident host, Robbie Domingo, PBB housemate Reese Eugenio, internationally acclaimed speaker and president and COO of Catholic Connect Austin Quick, and founder of the Light of Jesus community, Brother Bo Sanchez. The young are vulnerable but powerful. The young are less in years and experience but more in idealism and energy, so let's use it. Oh, the young are aggressive but progressive. Uh, this is heart to heart. They spoke from their heart and they led us to the heart of God. An interactive play on the world of new generations performed by the Dulang Tobias Foundation, written and directed by Jonathan Uranio, fired up the participants in the afternoon. Using the media of arts and drama, participants were made aware of several pressing issues confronting the youth today like lowering the age of criminal liability, child labor, teenage pregnancy and abortion, lack of job opportunities, prostitution, depression and bullying, drug addiction and extrajudicial killings, and prevalence of HIV AIDS cases and LGBT. 
The participants were also introduced to the concerns affecting the youth today in other countries. Founder of Talang Dalisay and TED speaker Margaret Lee, founder of Catholic Connect Richie Orozco, Indonesian Catholic youth servant Anastasia Indrawan, Vietnamese Commission on Youth servant Joseph Tao Tri, shared their personal experiences and challenges in their respective fields and countries. Meanwhile, prayer spaces were put up in various areas to enable participants to deepen their reflections and commitment. Prayer spaces include chapel, rooms for the sacrament of reconciliation and counseling, even digital pathways such as mobile application activities at the Alfredo Velayo Accountancy Building. Prayers, petitions, and uh, reflections can also be written in prayer walls found at the Q Pavilion. Participants can also visit and meditate in the prayer labyrinth at the Albertus Magnus Building. The day ended with an evening prayer led by Bishop Roderick Pabillo, Auxiliary Bishop of Manila. The first day of the PCNE 6 for All may have been a jam-packed day of inspiration and challenges, of mutual learning and listening between the church and the youth today. But what matters most at the end of the day is the personal experience of each participant with the crucified, risen Jesus who continues to walk and stay with his disciples on the road to their fullness of life and to new beginnings. This is Father Angelo Paulo's prayer of the Society of St. Paul for PCNE 6.